Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be discussing can cats be under the influence of marijuana? Now that there's more uh, dispensaries and states that are open to marijuana use, uh, this is an interesting topic. So we're going to discuss the science behind it and how it affects cats. So I guess the question is, is do cats have cannabinoid receptors, which is what makes anybody uh, capable and able to feel the feeling they feel when the THC is in their body. So the answer is yes, cats, dogs, mammals, and also uh, reptiles, fish, and birds have cannabinoid receptors. So they are able to get high or under the influence of marijuana, cannabis, et cetera, whatever you want to call it. And there's two different types of receptors. There's a CB1 and a CB2. CB1 is brain processing, uh, psychoactive, and it's in the fats, the muscles, uh, the liver, whereas CB2 is mostly found in CBD, not THC. C CB2 is immuno-inflammatory. Uh, uh, it's more, like I said, it's, it's less found in THC. It is in THC, but it is more found in CBD. So knowing the two different types of cannabinoid receptors is also um, a factor in the science behind whether your cat can uh, feel high. How does marijuana affect cats? Well, because they have these cannabis receptors in their body, they can have a uh, loss of coordination, they can be lethargic, they can have a slow heart rate or body temperature. And also just like with, us, they can have feelings of happiness, euphoria, relaxation. On the contrary, they can have uh, feelings of fear, paranoia, or uh, have a bad high and be very unhappy and not know what's going on. Uh, marijuana is not the same thing as catnip. Catnip is a pheromone, whereas marijuana gets them intoxicated. That's totally different than a pheromone. Uh, cats are always euphoric on catnip if it, it, if it affects them that way. Um, a very different type of feeling than marijuana. So do not mistake in catnip for being marijuana. It's not the same thing. It's totally actually not even affiliated, a different type of plant. So in conclusion, just to wrap things up, guys, uh, yes, marijuana is toxic to cats. Uh, that's probably why it's not recommended, but if you're going to do it, just try to be a responsible pet owner. Don't leave edibles out for these guys to get. Um, if your cat's like 85 years old and has uh, pneumonia and a heart defect, don't go and hot box her in a bathroom or do something crazy like that. Just do the best you can to be a good pet owner. Think about their feelings or how they're doing and how it's going to affect their well-being. Oh my gosh. You would think my cat is high at the moment, but she's actually not. She just tried to knock my camera over. Anyhow, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. I hope this was informational and helped somebody out today. Thanks, guys.